While the Electoral Commission had to rush to meet a lot of preparation targets this year, the update of the electoral roll still remains as their highest priority. Uh, the whole month of January will be dedicated to data updating. We will update data. Uh, the month of February is dedicated for objection period, uh, is, is objection uh, time. So uh, the preliminary roles will, will be displayed so people can go and object to the role. And I hope to have the final uh, role printed by end of March. He said NEC proposals for nomination fees to increase, separate running of national and LLG elections, and shortening the election period still remain as proposals until they have parliament approval. At this stage, uh, I don't know whether parliament will pass that law or not, so I cannot say. So we'll still rely on the tentative date that was uh, initially uh, agreed or approved by the Governor General. Another make or break factor for the elections is security and with the police as the lead agency in election security, Commissioner Baki had some big announcements this afternoon starting with a gun moratorium. Guns moratorium will come into effect. That's going to be one of the strategies we will use to mitigate uh, issues of threats as currently confronting us leading up to the elections. With 10,600 personnel expected to work during the election period, this time authority will be decentralized to provincial and divisional commands. Uh, that number uh, also uh, includes 500 uh, correctional services officers who will be deployed to assist us and 500 defense force personnel that will assist the police. So the entire security force operations uh, manpower is about 10,600 for the entire period of pre-deployment, election proper, post-election. Chief Secretary Lupari also had some big announcements. That every uh, agencies who are going to be involved in supporting the electoral commissioner presents their work program. Fully costed. Fully costed. It's only on elections matters. Nothing else related to elections. And these costs are then, plans are then looked at in totality. And our overall plan is then uh, uh, developed. PNJ elections is one of the most expensive elections in the world, with the last election costing 800 million kina. Sarah Aupong, National MTV News.